Hello everyone and welcome to your reading. Spirit wants to bring you guys messages of light for whatever you're thinking about right now, whatever's in your heart, whatever you're going through, or if you just want to connect with Spirit and have a conversation with Spirit, okay? So look at the three different piles here of this deck and decide if it's pile one, two, or three that is calling to you. I will start with the first pile with the amethyst. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. All right, so for those of you that chose this first pile, we're gonna pull four messages of light from this pile and then we'll pull some more cards on top of that, okay? So let's see, what does Spirit wanna say to you today? All right, first message is unconditional love. Today I choose to see the light in everyone. I seek the divine in each being, and I accept others as they are. I bring compassion to all my brothers and sisters of light. I offer unconditional love to everyone I meet. I join my soul with theirs so that we may grow together in universal love. Beautiful. Attaining peace. Today I turn within to find the source of my experiences. There I find the peace that comes from seeking truth. I understand that the riches I discover within myself have a greater value than all the wealth of the outside world. Step by step I continue my spiritual quest. Little by little I free myself, rising ever higher and attaining true inner peace. Beautiful. So we got unconditional love, attaining peace, love appears. So love is a theme going on for you guys. I renounce my pain and release my resistance. Today I choose to reside in the light of my being. I rise up boldly and ask for the understanding that will free me of my duality. My prayers are heard and God sends angelic help so that love and peace find their way to me. When I open my eyes, Love appears. So love is on its way. And spirit wants to help bring you to a place of peace to receive that. And, you know, this could be love of a friend, of a family member, romance, of an animal, of just the universe itself, okay? I reap what I sow. Today I remember that all I think and all I do will come back to me in some way. I understand that I reap the fruits of what I sow and fill my life with thoughts and deeds of abundance, light, and love. I sow these seeds knowing I will harvest the greatest of riches. Yes, so Spirit wanting to talk to you today about rising you to unconditional love in your vibration, bringing you to a place of peace in your vibration. All right, to really open you up and expand you to love, okay? And this love, again, can come in so many different um, shapes and forms. But that's what Spirit wants to talk to you about, is opening your heart to love. And it's like all things manifest from there. I reap what I sow. I, and see, you've got the... Um, golden orb there and you've got the golden orb there spirit is really leading you to your heart what's going on in your heart if there's sadness if there's turmoil if there's fear if there's uncertainty then spirit's saying sit with me let me help you attain peace let me help vi wow look at what just flew out as i said that yes let me help you obtain peace let me get you to a place of unconditional love within. That way, those that, that's the vibration in which you're sowing your seeds. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got the Emperor for the unconditional love. We've got the Nine of Pentacles for love appears. 
And we've got judgment for I reap what I sow. Okay, spirit does not want you to think that where you are feeling a lack of love or a lack of abundance in your life that you're being punished or that you're unworthy or that you don't deserve or that you're asking for too much. All right, the message I'm getting here is spirit wants to activate you fully showing as the emperor, all right, to lead you to a place of peace in love or abundance. And, you know, this judgment, it's really you judging you. Nobody else is judging you but yourself. Um, you are the one that decides if you are doing good, if you are successful, or if you're not, right? And so Spirit's saying, let me help you switch your thoughts about you and help you not judge yourself so harshly, help bring you into a place of unconditional love for yourself, okay? Because there's abundance here, whether this is material abundance or an abundance of love. It's there, and Spirit wants to help align you to it. Heron, introspection and patience, quiet the mind, do a little bit of meditation to connect with spirit, the squirrel, play and resources, yeah, see, bringing you into a place of peace within is going to just change everything, like your mind, your heart about what's possible for you, spirit's like, we've got to balance out your vibration, get you into a steady steady space because then you're at peace and when you're at peace then spirit can raise you into that unconditional love wolf instinct and loyalty yes follow your intuition and bore combativeness honor don't be so hard on yourself you're doing better than you realize okay you are doing better than you realize, and Spirit wants you to know that. And today, like, moving forward from this reading, ask Spirit to show you the signs of unconditional love, to show you the signs of what you are sowing. And if you are very aware of what you're sowing, then you know what you're going to reap. And I just, I, it's like... You think that you have all this bad karma, or you just have bad luck, or you're cursed. And I don't get that that's the case at all. It's the way you judge yourself. And Spirit wants to help shift that judgment into a much higher, beautiful perspective. So we have accountability coming through and this is spirit saying you've got to be real with yourself about the way you feel about yourself the way that you see yourself and if you think that you know you are amazing and that you deserve all of this abundance etc then perhaps you need to work on that unconditional love for self Okay, how much do you really love yourself? Do you know that you're amazing at what you do, that you're talented, like you know that, but deep, deep within, is there still some insecurity about who you are and your worth and your value? And do people really like you um, more than just that beautiful talent and ability that you possess? So there's definitely some insecurity and spirit wants to bring you into a place of strength, of self with that emperor. Oh yes, look at this. Restoration, the star. Uh-huh. Bringing you to that place of balance within. Because from there, you're unstoppable. Okay. 
don't obsess. Don't feel like you have to give your whole life away. Don't feel like you have to work 10 times harder. Spirit saying this is much easier than you than you realize, than you recognize, but it's all about your predominant thoughts, your predominant emotions. And then look at that future love letter. I love you. Yes. Yes. Your future self is going to thank you for the changes that you choose to make now when it comes to what you're thinking and feeling about yourself. Okay. And again, I know some of you know that you are amazing and that you do bring a lot to the table, but there's something behind that an insecurity behind that the spirit's pointing you to. Okay. And for others of you, you do think very, very low of yourself and your expectation is to be let down, to be disappointed, to be left behind. And spirit wants to help change that. Or for those of you that have this insecurity or underlying fear, help you overcome that shift out of that. Okay. Because these are the messages of light that spirit's bringing you. Unconditional love. Attaining peace. Love appears. And you got two major arcanas and two pinnacles coming through as clarifiers. Okay. Something materializing that makes you feel very abundant, very um, luxurious, indulgent, important, special. Feeling quite empowered. Okay. And judging yourself in a much different way. It's like it's time to see yourself from a different light, from a different perspective, so that you can sow your seeds in unconditional love instead of um, fear and uncertainty. Because sowing your seeds in unconditional love is going to bring about what you desire. But this is that fear, okay? That fear or in underlying insecurity or low belief of self. And Spirit says, you're a star. It's time to see who you are. You got to take accountability for who you truly are, for the good and the bad. The good counts just as much. And then start appreciating yourself. And, you know, maybe even write a list of good qualities of you, of what you deserve. Write a letter to your future self of what you are hoping to achieve, to accomplish. Okay, call upon the gray heron, the squirrel, the wolf, or the boar to guide you spiritually. This animal will come in and assist you. And if you start seeing one of these like appear in the days and the weeks that follow this reading, it's because that animal has chosen you to work with you, to help you. And that could be that spirit has sent that animal to you. Okay, and maybe for some of you, this could even be an animal, animal, an animal in the physical that's going to be entering your world and helping you with this process of reconnecting to unconditional love within so that you can truly get what you deserve, all the good that you deserve. All right, so those are your messages of light from spirit. I hope that this has helped and I am sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care. All right, hello to everybody who chose the second pile. We are going to shuffle them and see what messages of light spirit has for you guys specifically. What do you want them to know, Spirit? What do they need to hear? All right, right there. Oh, wow, look at that. Inner power. Today, I choose to see myself as significant. I acknowledge my true strength. I remain steadfast in the face of adversity. If I stumble, I pick up myself, knowing that I am filled with the power of the universe. I accept and appreciate myself in every way. I contain the most precious treasures of this world within me. The universe shines through me. 
Oh yes, that spirit wants to awaken you to your inner power and your mantra today and moving forward should be, you know, the universe works through me and for me. The universe works through me and for me. Yeah, spirit really wants to tap you into your inner strength, your inner magic, your inner power. It's so much more than we know. All right, and if it's been a long time since you've seen yourself as big and amazing, you've forgotten your power, you've forgotten your strength, and spirit wants to remind you, I welcome I welcome life as it presents itself to me. Today, I take each step on my path to fulfillment with good faith. I swim easily with the flow of life. I embrace all experiences the universe bestows upon me, even those that may prove challenging. I know all will fall into place for my greatest good. Yes. The energy, the energy, the universe works for you and through you. And spirit saying, welcome that. Oh, wow, look at this truth. Today, I discover my greatest truth is within me. It is a divine force that whispers from my inner self. I listen to this voice closely, putting aside my controlling mind. In this way, I find all the answers I am looking for. I am now in harmony with myself, and I welcome the love of God, which is the truth that will guide me towards my fullest, most shining radiance. Oh yeah, it's time for you to awaken to a truth of yourself, and it's going to be very empowering. And now we have beyond. Today I lift my consciousness above all worldly illusions. I remember the power I have in every situation. See, there's that word again, power. I always have a choice in how I respond. Today I choose to turn my thoughts towards God by focus focusing my awareness beyond the illusion of the material world. I experience simplicity and peace. Oh yes, see, Spirit is saying to you, you are so much bigger than you know. You are so much more powerful than you recall, that you remember, that you've been led to believe. Okay? Spirit wants to awaken you, activate you to this remembering, this truth, and rise you beyond your current challenges. There is nothing you cannot overcome. And Spirit wants you to know that. And the universe works for you and through you know your power know your connection to all things understand spiritual alchemy right look at for inner power you disempower yourself when you spend a lot of time worrying, overanalyzing, rehashing, feeling helpless, feeling invisible, feeling small. Spirit wants to activate you, awaken you, remind you of who you are. Yes, there is so many more choices and options available to you. And Spirit says, open yourself up to that. I welcome my gifts, my blessings, the universe works for me and through me. And look at this, the lovers, the truth. There needs to become a balance between what's in heart and what's in mind. Okay? Um, because it's like for some of you, in some place, it's like your heart feels one thing, but your mind tells you another thing. And spirit wants to bring you to the truth, and the truth comes from your soul. And look at this, yes, beyond. We've got the Three of Pentacles. Energy wants to build for you. But you've got to know your power. You've got to have um, the intention. You set the intention. But when we're very fearful, 
worried, sad, feeling helpless, feeling small, feeling like things never work out, you know, just hanging on for some miracle. No, Spirit's saying you don't have to live like that. You have the power to command, to command energies. You are a creator. And you create with your mental and your emotional energy. Coyote, intelligence, unpredictability. You are very, very wise. You are smart. You are intelligent. And you feel perhaps maybe because you get very caught in your head, like you can't trust your intuition. Like it's not it's not always um, accurate is, is the way you would say that. But the truth is, it is accurate. It's your own jumbled thoughts that get in the way of that true connection with intuition. It's like sometimes, um, you know, being intelligent, having a very curious mind is good. It allows us to open up to so much knowledge and understanding in this lifetime. But sometimes being very intelligent, it also gets you really caught up in your head going through every possible scenario. And Spirit's saying, you know, let the mind rest and, and come into a place of peace and balance. And then the answer will always be very, very clear for you. A wild goose. Trust in the group. Communication. All right. There's so many more options for you. Okay. And um, you see this main goose right here. And then all the others kind of look like shadows, right? Even if you feel totally alone and on your own, you have a lot of spirits around you helping you fly, helping you find your way. And now we have the spider connection, shadow. Yes, see, um, heart and mind must be in balance to weave the desired manifestations. All right, in the shadow, that's um, our fears, our worries. Spirit's asking you to become aware of that and reclaim your power. Lion, cheerfulness, pride. Yes, yeah, see? Reclaim your power. And in the days and weeks that follow this reading, if the coyote, the wild goose, the spider, or the lion start repeating in your reality, it's because that spirit animal is trying to work with you. Do a Google search to look up the deeper spiritual meaning of each one and um, look at several websites and interpretations, okay? Um, because... What I'm getting from this is like this is an earth energy, this is a fire energy, and this is an air energy. And it's like earth, fire, and air weave your web. But the water aspect, the emotion aspect, you're very much in the shadow about something. And that's what Spirit wants to help you with so you can weave the web that you desire to bring forth the manifestations that you desire. Um, you know, building a web, the Three of Pentacles, growing, um, evolving, things building, things expanding.
All right, we have accountability. Interesting because this card came out in the same exact spot in the first message. Yes, you've got to be accountable for yourself and your thoughts and which you are allowing to move through your mental body on the daily. Really, really take stock. Take notice for the next couple days. What are you mostly thinking about? Is it worries? Is it the past? Is it disappointments? Is it fears? Is it the future? Like what is predominantly going on in your mind, in your heart? Like that's the vibration and in, in where you're at and that's where you're creating from. So Spirit's saying you've got to take accountability and harness and hone in your thoughts and your emotions and bring them into a place of balance and you have the strength for that. All right, look at this change. There is change coming. And Spirit's trying to awaken you to your personal empowerment. Yes, see, I can and you will. And you see all that fruit, all that abundance. Also, this being food meditation, um, certain foods may be calling to you. You may be craving them. Eat them. All right, what, what, what you're craving, what's calling to you, eat it because there's a purpose for it. And look at that enchantment celebration. Yeah, you're going to get this. You're going to get this. You've been asking. Spirit is answering you, bringing you these messages of light. Okay. And I think I switched the animals around um, when I laid them back down. But I feel this is the order to um, go into the message like this. So I am aware of that. Um, but look at with this inner power. Today I choose to see myself as significant. And the accountability is, are you not seeing yourself as significant? Are you not seeing yourself as strong? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Okay, get very real with yourself. The Spirit is saying you are a winner. You are a champion. You are a success story. You see the lion here? Oh my gosh. And did we not? Yeah. I feel, look at that. You got the lion coming through twice. You blow your, your worries, your fears way, 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 way bigger than they are. Like you blow them way up. And Spirit says, you are such a strong, intelligent, wise person that it's like at times you are your own worst enemy. Okay? Um, at your, at your, at full force, at full strength. Who? Who could beat you? Do you see that? All that energy of the lion. In fact, I feel the lion is trying to come in and work with you guys specifically to remind you of who you are and what you are and the strength and the power that exists within you. That's beautiful. And now we have, I welcome, I welcome life as it presents itself to me. And when you're in that mode, it's like you open yourself up to the flow of things. And also sometimes, you know, when you've been asking for something and, you, and you're trying to manifest something, it, you've got to allow certain things to change um, your path, your plans how you wanted things to work out. Like sometimes you've got to allow that change because it's leading you to something better. Okay. And again, the more you are uh, in balance with yourself, the more you can trust your intuition because you're in tune. All right. The truth. What is the truth of your heart, of your mind? Your 
greatest truths are within you. It's time to come into balance, okay? And you can. Whatever it is that you are asking for, you can. You have the power. And you have a very strong spiritual team. Some of you, um, it's time to speak your truth to somebody through a conversation and tell them exactly what you think and you feel, okay? And some of you, it's like you need this message of really be open to allow another to speak their full truth to you, what they think, what they feel, and it will only help you and bring you guys closer, all right? And then lastly, beyond, yes, you are... You see, you are this, like you have the power to control your world, your life. All right. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of celebration, but you've got to allow yourself to move beyond the shadow, beyond the fears. And then you are truly unstoppable. Okay. Like you guys, I just, I get that spirits like, you're a rock star, you're a superhero, like there's something about you that is just quite special. You are a powerful, intelligent being and don't lose sight of yourself for anybody or anything. Spirit wants to help remind you and, and really balance out your mental body and erase any fears that you have. It's like there's no need to fear. So those are your messages. I am sending you a lot of love and light. Take care. Hello to everybody who chose the third pile of cards. Let's get into your reading and see what messages of light spirit has for you guys. Specifically pile number three. Right. Return to the inner temple. Today I rediscover my inner self in sacred silence. This is the inner temple in which I am able to calmly study the lessons life has provided me. Here I regain my sense of tranquility. I revive my trust in the universe. Bathed in the light of my inner temple, I now remember the value of each and every step of my life. So this is a message of light from spirit that it's time to disconnect it's time to pull away it's time to go within I'm feeling um, the energy of the hermit very very strongly you've got to regroup um, reclaim put yourself back together all right this is like a big message of spirit saying you need a time out a time of healing or reflection for some reason and look at this trusting and you know often when we are on a solo journey, it's because we are in the hands of spirit and we need to be alone in our own energy to understand our spiritual lessons and to grow and heal from them. And when we feel the most alone amongst our, you know, human brothers and sisters, that's when spirit has us the tightest. Okay. Today, I trust in God. No matter what happens as my day unfolds, I will, I will remember to remain in harmony. I will maintain my sense of humor and I will keep my focus on God's love for me. In these ways, I will minimize drama and increase my spiritual strength. Yes, Spirit says, disconnect and turn your eyes to me. Wow, and discovering next because it's time to discover something. Today, I release my old beliefs, convictions, and preconceived notions. In their place, I seek new ideas, innovation, and endless possibilities. I am adaptable. I am able to see beyond my previous limitations and discover greater worlds inside of me. Ooh, Spirit says you need to be opened up. You need to be activated. Spirit wants to take you on a journey. Oh, my goodness, so that you can become free in your mind, in your heart. Today, I find the veil of my ego has lifted and a vision of my new life has appeared. 
Now I am focused on my inner growth. I listen only to the voice of my heart and remain steadfast in the energy of love that I find there. I am now free of duality, fear, and judgment, and I move forward on my path to inner peace. Oh my goodness, Spirit wants to free you from some sort of ag agony, heartache, fear. And the answer is, okay, we need to disconnect, turn our eyes to spirit. And from there, we're going to have a huge breakthrough and discovery and free ourselves from whatever is troubling us here. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Nine of Cups. Yes, you have big dreams. Wishes, goals. Five of Swords. Three of Cups. And Eight of Wands. Alright. So with this Nine of Cups, Spirit wants to help you align to all the things that you desire. But this is more than about what's just going on in your physical reality. All right, this is a very spiritual message for you guys. It's like you're being um, drawn into your spirit, your soul. And I'm telling you, it's like um, we need to really disconnect, separate ourselves right now from the influence of others. And I know for some of you that's not 100% possible, right? Some of you have families to take care of but in any way you can spirits saying to disconnect wow when my light um flashed a couple times as i was saying that um to disconnect because you've lost sight of your happiness which you really want what would really excite you like you've lost your way you've lost your path in some capacity and so Spirit's saying return to yourself within. And you do that by disconnecting and, you know, making it your intention to understand yourself. Okay? And, and here with the trusting, trust in Spirit that when you're walking alone and you feel totally um, like on a solitude journey, it's not a defeat. And, you know, some of you, it may be where it's like, wow, it's like I just got into a fight with like everybody I know and now I'm not talking to anybody and it all just kind of happened at once. You've got to trust that. There's certain energies around you that I feel um, are not the best and they've, they've pulled you off your path a bit, okay? And so Spirit's trying to separate you from those energies, from people from different beliefs and thoughts you've picked up that just aren't helping you whatsoever. Like Spirit's trying to separate you from that, return you back to self, because in that space, then you're discovering your path to freedom, your path to happiness, okay? Um, let things fall away as they may right now, because you're going to discover... A lot of things that are going to feel like blessings that are going to make you very happy. You are returning to happiness, okay? And then it's like things really pick up for you again. Communication, conversation, connections, happiness, surprises, blessings all coming in. But it's like you've got to free yourself from some situations, some beliefs right now. So that you can regroup, so that you can find yourself again and, and get back on your path. The wren jumped out.
her inner temple. Something has shaken your courage and humbled you. And it could be, look at that. Yeah, friendship, loyalty. Somebody around you or multiple people around you have been deceptive, have betrayed you, or you've just become far too consumed and involved in their life, their dramas and traumas. Like, again, like you've lost your path. And so any sort of odd fighting and separation right now, Spirit's saying you need to trust that. Something's kind of broken your spirit a bit. It's like really humbled you. And I don't say that in like a sense of like you needed to be humbled. You didn't. But it, it kind of like knocked the wind out of you here. Hedgehog, inner world, curiosity. Yeah, go within, rediscover yourself because that's what's going to return the flow, the blessings. Like you're really caught up in this heavier energy and it's like it's halted the flow of your own life and you're feeling that and you're like what is going on um unique uniqueness and freedom yeah i am free freedom yes it's time to to um return to your inner temple and meet spirit there And you're going to, you'll be restored. And trust, I am telling you, trust any sort of fighting confrontation that has caused distance or disconnection between you and others right now. I feel it's temporary. But it's happened so that you could open your eyes to see some things. And I, I just, I feel like, Whatever this is, it like it pulls you off your path. It, it sucks you dry. Like you need, you you need a moment of renewal. And I don't think you even realize that you do. But that's why things are like being pulled away, and, and you're feeling a bit isolated. Is because you're healing. Spirit wants to heal you and rejuvenate you, and get you you know back on course, back on your path. All right, look at this enchantment with celebration. Yes, so Three of Cups is all about celebration. It's coming out here. Um, you should be celebrated. And if somebody's not celebrating you, you need to see that. You need to know that and make no excuse for it. I don't care who they are. Somebody has not been treating you right. And Spirit wants you to see the truth of that. And look at this seeing certain situations or people are separated from you right now so that you can reconnect to your soul and hear the music of your soul once again look at this gateway vision coming out under discovering yeah and not only does spirit want to help remind you of who you are and get you back on your path you're going to a, a, a whole new level as well and look at this essence. You're at your most potent and potential when you are in total alignment with yourself. And it's like you, you've lost sight of that a little bit because of what somebody has said or, or what they have done to you. Um, a sense of betrayal. But it's not happening. It didn't happen because that's what you deserve or you have bad karma or you're a bad person or anything. It didn't happen for those reasons. It happened because you need to be pulled away from all of that. And you're going to understand. The more you embrace the solitude and the hermit journey right now, the more you're going to come into the understanding. And you're going to have an activation. And there's an elevation to your experience but I feel things will be healed and worked out but but don't fight it right now work on you focus on you and trust that the universe will work all things out in the right time all right so those are your messages of light 
I hope that this has helped, and I'm sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care.